Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Fluid Art Express. Up first we would have had Taslima from Taslima Maya Art. After me we have Christy from Creations by Christy. Shannon from Shan B Fluid Art. Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. And last but not least, Tony the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. So stay on board and enjoy the ride. So, what I figured I'd do today is show you how I mix up some custom coloured cell activators. Now, for anyone that's not in Australia, it's not going to be cheap because we'll be using Aussie Flow Troll. And if you're in America, that stuff costs an arm and a leg. Places like Europe can't get it or it's a pain in the butt to get it. But we'll do this anyway. For all the people that can get it. Now, what I do with the Aussie Flow Troll first is shake the living crap out of it. Make sure it's really well mixed. I usually do it for a few minutes. I mean, I've already been shaking this this morning for a couple of minutes, so I don't have to go too nuts with it. Right, so we're going to use that. We're going to use um, Amsterdam Prussian Blue, which is a really cool colour. We've got... Um, I can't read this because I'm old and blind. It's transparent medium red. And what else do we have? This is permanent blue violet. All right. So you're best off not to use opaque colors for this. You want transparent or semi-transparent. They work a whole lot better. Um, we have some rainbow violet. Senshi red. Rainbow Blue, or by Eye Candy, and we'll do a enchantment by this little piggy. So you can use pretty much any brand mica powders in this if you want. So we'll put these to one side, and we will start. So I've got four little cups here. Move these out of the way a little bit. Now I have a little measuring cup. I think that's one teaspoon. Like I said, I'm old and blind and can't read what it says. Yes, I know, I need glasses. So what I'm going to do is put one teaspoon of flow troll in each cup. Near enough is close enough. All right. One in there, and whoop, one in there. Now, what I'm going to do is grab my micas and put a heap on like that. One for each color. So that'll be that one. Same with the blue. Since she red. Now when you're using these mica powders, it pays to wear a mask. You don't want to be breathing this stuff in or getting in your eyeballs. It causes all sorts of irritations and things like that. And there's the purple. Right, what I'm going to do is move these off to one side so I don't knock them over. Because, yep, I'm as clumsy as what Bubbles is. Now, what we're going to do is just disperse those in with a flow troll. So what you're doing is mixy, mixy, mixy. Make 
make sure there's no lumpy bits in it all the powders broken up into a nice little liquid form it is time consuming but worth it at the end so and you don't really want lumps in it because as your paint dries you'll see little lumps and bumps everywhere so the better you mix it all in the better you're going to get results So we've got that beautiful blingy colour. What I'll do is I'll press pause. I'll do exactly the same thing to these three so you're not just watching me mix paint. Okie dokie. So they're all mixed in now. So what we're going to do is in our purple one over here, we're going to add oops, our purple. What I like to do is pick a colour that's really close to the colours that I'm going to be mixing with the pigments. It doesn't matter if it's super close or a mile away. It just gives you a, a more accurate colour when you're finished. So this one's actually a lot darker than what that is. But it gives you a really cool colour when it's done. So I'm going to put a level scoop in blob that in like that now I'm going to mix that in You'll notice the colour starts to darken. I don't know whether you can see that with the light that I'm using. But it gets darker. There's a light. Hang on. I'll put the other light on. All right, so that definitely gets a bit darker. So mix that in, make sure there's no lumps. All right, so goes a real nice dark color. Then what I'm gonna do is add another two scoops of the Aussie flow troll into that it's one two so that gives us a ratio of three to one so we've got three parts Aussie flow troll one part paint now I've chosen Amsterdam paint for my colours because it always works. I haven't come across a colour yet that doesn't work. So I tend to use those a lot more. Um, Atelier works really well. Some of the golden ones that I've tried work really well. And quite a few of the Pebio range works really well right so three to one thoroughly mix it now I really should have used a different color but don't know whether you can see that that so runs off the stick but it's not super thin Okay, so I do exactly the same thing with all the other colours. But rather than use the purple in that, I'm going to wipe this little spoon off. 
we're going to put transparent red in this one, which is the century. So again, pretty much level scoop. Scoop that in. And we'll mix that one in too. So what you're doing is using the micas for bling in colours that don't have bling in it. Sort of the cheap way of doing it. I mean, you can use um, gel mediums to make it up. I know the Atelier, Atelier one works really well. The one I use is a heavy gloss gel. And what you're doing is using the gloss gel rather than using a tube paint. But being a heavy gloss gel, it takes forever to mix in. Whereas the tube paint, it's a soft body, mixes in really well, and saves a hell of a lot of time. Right, so we'll add two scoops of that. Oops, close enough. All right, let's scrape that out. So that there is now three to one as well. Let me mix it in. What I'll probably be able to do is do a fly over and add it into this so you can actually see the colors a bit better than through the camera that I'm using. Don't say. Yeah, it's really hard to see on this camera. Well, the screen I'm looking at anyway. But yeah, it's got a whole load of bling in that now. So now we've got blingy cell activator. All right, I'll go and do these ones off camera, exactly the same as the others, so you're not just watching me mix paint, and show you that. Okie dokie, so they're mixed in. What I'll do is flick over to another camera. So this one here was the enchantment by this little piggy. So... Oh, look at the bling in that. So that's enchantment. This was our blue with the Persian blue or whatever it was put in. So now we've made cell activators that bling all shiny, sparkly and glittery. Focus. There it is. All the same consistency. They're all about three to one. So there's three scoops of flow troll. And that's the purple from eye candy. So what I'll do is I'll um I'll grab a board and We'll do a couple of swipes with these so you can see what they look like when we swipe with them. So, I've got my tile. Here's my colours here. Always remember to put your lid on your flow troll, otherwise you are going to cry when you knock it over. And believe me, it does happen. I've done it many, many times. I mean, it's not as bad for me because it's a hell of a lot cheaper than what it is for you guys overseas, but it's still a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is throw down some British Paints Low Sheen Interior Wall Paint that's been tinted black because it doesn't come black like the exterior does. You have to have it tinted. What I usually do is get them to just squirt the colour into the tin and then I mix it up at home by hand 
rather than going on the shaker machine otherwise it gets a whole heap of bubbles through it they don't like doing it but if you push the issue they sort of will so all right what should we start with we'll go with this little piggy's enchantment which is this one Swipe down through there. Oh, that's pretty. We'll use the blue. We'll use our other purple. so they do take a little bit longer to sink compared to if you use titanium in white or lamp black oxide black any of the above but you still get really cool results don't know whether the camera will pick that up properly because it sucks but i'll throw a little fly over in of that as it sits now so you can see that but it's um it's definitely cool you can just chop and change colors at will nice easy way of doing things And what I usually do is use these for backgrounds for my embellishment things and things like that. Or when I'm doing something a little bit more tricky than usual. So what we'll do is I'll grab a couple of colours. I'll grab these and we'll have a bit of a play. So here's a purple from Montmart. That's a pearl purple. Absolutely gorgeous colour. I love that. And for a tube paint, it's like phenomenally cool. I love it. Grab some blue. So that was um, Zafri by Eye Candy. Got some satin yellow, which is Eye Candy. And Magma Magenta, which is an Eye Candy. swipey tool I might do black cell activator on that which is just Amsterdam lamp black mix the same way with Australian flow troll three to one just without any bling in it sometimes I do I'll throw in some interference colors like um, interference blue or green or red or whatever just for giggles and it'll change the colour of your cell activator. You'll see it sparkle different colours as you tilt it in the light. I'll grab a little skewer. And a 
if I put some through here where we've got our cell activator already laid down some wiggly lines there probably going to lose the Sanchi red because it's really close to the edge oops give that a quick torch give that a spin Right, where is my pop up? There it is. Alright, so you get something like that. Really hard to pick up under this light, so I'll do a flyover of it so you can see it a bit more clearly. But that's a load of fun, mixing up just different cell activators using your Aussie Flow Troll. A bit of Amsterdam paint and then whatever colour mica pigment you want, mix it in. It'll chop and change colours. Then you can do random stuff like if you've got a purple tube paint, mix in some red or blue. It, it does weird things to the colours. You can have a bit of a play at getting different shades and things like that. Definitely a load of fun. Alright guys. If you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, up next, we've got Christy from Creations by Christy. So if you click on her name in the title of this video, it'll take you directly to her YouTube page. Um, if you're in the live chat, just click on the links that I'm putting in there. It'll take you to her premiere or if you are a member of Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art on Facebook, just click on the links that I put in there and it'll take you directly to everybody's video on the whole express. One video after another. All right, guys, that's it. Have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.